Thank you, Amit. So, um, yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say uh, one more thing. We have uh, Nils, who is the guardian of World of Wisdom. He's a holistic coach and a shamanic healer and a change maker. And he's joining from Gotland, from the gathering in Sweden. And then we also have Dragonfly, who is a leader in the space of deep listening. He's had 12 Burning Man experiences with 10 leading international camps and ceremonies. And he's joining from, and I hope this is right, uh, the Palm Spring uh, in California in the US. All right, Nils, please go ahead. Thank you, Amit. I hope you can all hear me, even though I'm sitting outside on this beautiful island of Gotland. So what we have ahead of us is a 30 minute arrival ceremony for the first ever World of Wisdom gathering that is happening both online and offline on this location at the same time. I'm here with my brother, Dragonfly. I'd like to welcome him as well. Thank you, Nils. And thank you for being here. And I'd like to simply start by speaking very briefly to why we're here. We live in transformational times. Times that are leading us into a new era that is unknown for all of us. And we're here at this gathering to have individual experiences as a collective of exploring co-creation. And this is an invitation for all of us to explore just that, co-creation. Trusting that exploration and the process of exploration from a true place will lead us to where we have to go. And in this process of exploration, where there will be a lot of sessions of things happening from around the world, we also want to share an invitation for meditation. So looking inwards, noticing what happens within us as we go through this journey together for the very first time. None of us knowing what awaits. None of us really knowing what this is. So mindfulness is one of the key words that we would like for you to carry with you throughout this journey. And we simply encourage you to be aware throughout the experience. And that said, I want to hand over to my brother, the Dragonfly. Thank you, Nils. And good evening and good day to everyone. I'm thrilled to be here with you, uh, a part of this incredible global convergence. As is for any opening ceremony. It's an opportunity for us to shed yesterday. It's to embrace today and to step into the now. And I would like to encourage everyone here to join me in a meditation exercise. Today, we're going to do a body scan. I would like everyone to take this moment to situate yourself. Go ahead and find a comfortable space, whether it's seated or laying down, or if you're standing, balanced on both feet, find your body in alignment. Take that little deep breath, not a big one yet, just a little one, exhaling, and now a deep inhale. Close your eyes. And we are going to scan our bodies. Begin at the top of your head. Feel and experience yourself from the top down through your forehead, through your eyebrows, into your neck and your mouth. As you are feeling into your body, where do you find the fight? Where is your work? Continuing down through your chest, 
breathing deeply. Linger in those spaces where you feel the tension and acknowledge them with self-compassion. Continuing down into your core, feeling your spine strong like a tree, feeling your stomach and emotion. Is there a place for work this week? Is there an opportunity to love yourself more, better? Moving down into your hips, gently wiggling just a little, reminding yourself you are flexible like a tree. Through your legs, strong, they power you every day through your adventures. Do your knees, your calves, arriving at your feet, millions of steps into your journey, thanking your feet for guiding you here today, wherever you are in the world. Beginning an exhale and a deep inhale. <sighs> Holding at the top. Exhaling. <sighs> we are doing this work together. And may I encourage you over the course of this week to see this as an opportunity to scan your life, your body, and figure out where is your work. Ask yourself, where is my work? Where do I fight? And breathe compassion into your body. Join us with open eyes. Welcome back. This is the first offering of ceremony. There will be many this week. One of the ways we will honor this unknown, this new space we are stepping into, is a deep appreciation for what it will look like to transition humanity into stepping into the sacred feminine. Nils, I think we should speak to this a little bit deeper. Could you share your thoughts? Thank you, Dragonfly. Absolutely. So as it's getting darker here, <laughs> I'd be happy to share my thoughts on that. So the seed of world of wisdom was planted inside me a little more than a year ago. And in the journey of experiencing that seed within myself and doing my best to honor that and make it come to life in whichever way I can do something has also become very clear for me on this path. And it's something that I think is clear for a lot of us. So I'm one individual, I'm a white man. And even though this seed was planted in me, it's not for me to keep or control. And there's something to that. There's also something to the fact that me and Dragonfly are both white male hosting this first arrival ceremony. We see it as a symbol, as a sign of a change that is happening and that needs to happen in this world, in our world, on this planet and in our hearts. We're in a phase where we're coming into the new divine feminine. So it's not about individuals and it's not about the control of white men. So in a sense, we need to hand over. In another sense, we need to balance 
the divine feminine and the divine masculine between ourselves and within ourselves. And we don't know what this looks like, especially not us white men. So it's a handing over and also an invitation for guidance because we need that in this shift. And throughout this week, we will be inviting words from the divine feminine in our ceremonies. And through that, we also invite each and every one of us to help each other in this shift. How can we balance these two divine energies within ourselves, between ourselves, and in everything we do? We would like to give you a brief assignment for when you go to bed tonight, is to bring that with you. Just feel into, hear into, think into, look into what that balancing means for you. And this is, as everything, simply a process. This is the beginning of yet another process, the infinite continuous process, constantly moving into the unknown. And we're just beginning. We're always just beginning. So we invite you all to hold each other in this exploration and support each other in this exploration, knowing that none of us knows what this is yet. It will emerge through us. So thank you for inviting me to share that, Dragonfly. Mm. And I would like to give the word back to you. Wonderful. So as we breathe this in, this opening, and all of us are contemplating what we will find in ourselves for the week and the space we will hold for others as we begin this transformation, I ask that we do one more body scan, an opportunity now to deepen your awareness of the collective that we are forming right now. This is a container that we are creating and setting forth. For the next week, we're together. I would like for each of us to take three deep breaths at your own pace and scan your body once again, walking into the unknown, this new and unique act of trust that is connecting us globally, beginning with an exhale. Locate the sensations in your body right now that will benefit from expansion and breathe into them. Notice the feelings of discomfort or unease as we walk into the unknown. This is a new and unique act. You are courageous. Finalize one last exhale and engage. Welcome back. Around you, in you, this is your community. Welcome to World of Wisdom. Nils, let's talk about what is well and this community for the week. Mm, thank you, Dragonfly. Thank you for sharing that body scan. What is wow? What 
we most know about world of wisdom is that we don't know exactly what it is. It's an exploration into the unknown. So maybe let's bring up a few things of what we know about this thing that is emerging through us together. So we know it's been calling all of us here in various ways, sending us various signals. And what we feel into is that we all have an inner calling. We feel this need to do something, to seek out community and act and explore and figure out and find out what the next step is for us as individuals, as a community, as a global society, and as, as one planet. We're in this major shift. And we know that a single individual cannot hold all of the answers. We also know that we are part of this planet. We're intertwined with this planet. So our human bodies and brains and souls, we hold some of the answers. And we have an important role to play over this next coming years. So we know that we trust this exploration. And we trust that each of us has a tiny piece of the puzzle that we're here to honor. We know that we're called to do ceremonies and sessions. There will be a lot of speaking, exploring, workshops. A lot of thinking, a lot of doing, all of these things that we human beings are pretty good at doing. And throughout that journey, we once again invite you to keep your focus inwards as well, to listen, to notice, what happens within you as we go through this journey because in there we have hints and secrets about what we're here to do the work that each and every one of us are here to do that said we also know that it's process it's never an end result this gathering in one way looks as a result of what led up to it. But at the same time, it's a seed, it's a new beginning, it's a continued process. So we know we're here to honor that process and to let it emerge and take whichever way it will take without us controlling it, simply co-creating it. So we know that when this first landed within us, it looked a little bit different. And then we had a pandemic. And the pandemic changed world of wisdom into what we're currently experiencing, into what it's supposed to be, this first manifestation of it. So in these times of Corona, we decided to put it on a, an online platform. So we're a group of people here in this limestone quarry on this sacred island in Sweden. Uh, and we're also a group of people here in this virtual limestone quarry on the sacred internet. <laughs> so without doing a screen share, because that doesn't fit into the energy right now, um, I would like to simply point out a few of the things on this online platform that has been created and is still emerging and will keep emerging. So on this platform, you'll find all of the online camps with all of the sessions and a few things to point out maybe pay some extra attention to is first of all there's a chat there's a communal chat on the platform you'll find it in your lower right corner you can also join that on telegram um, so if you have telegram feel free to join the world of wisdom group there as well to keep the conversation going we also have an open forum where we keep the conversation going as well beyond that the invitation is to explore the camps either through the map view if you're on a computer uh, or browsing through the camp lists and the session lists and there's also the invitation for you of course to, to add camps and add sessions and allow this to keep changing 
as we go. And I think we don't need to add much more technical information about this platform right now. I will invite Amit to post two links in the chat to two of these camps. One is a how-to guide where you'll find tons of information about how it all works. And one is a support camp known as the worst support camp ever to bring in some playfulness into this, which Axel is one of the hosts of. Thank you, Axel. Thank you, Axel. And you have a beautiful hat. So that said, we have this platform, but primarily we're a group of human beings doing this together. And we're doing it in our outer space through what we co-create, through what we share, through what we discuss, through what we explore together over these coming days. But we also do it in our inner space. So once again, find that connection to yourself and simply notice what emerges as we go through this journey together. That's right. And what I would like to encourage us all to think about in this is we are in a process of making, of building commitments to ourselves and to this community. And this will create opportunities for friction and worries as we think about how to transform and evolve. The core belief I ask for everyone to think about is that your inner work is the most important work. And we're coming together this week to do that together in community, enabling others to do this work as you do yours. When we have a new experience, it's an entirely unique opportunity as we envision the future to make connections as we all individually do the work. The world's doing it right now. We know that with Corona, everyone is having a conversation with their next self, their transformation, their evolution. Let's do it with consciousness at the heart of this week. What inner landscape did you bring in? And I invite you to envision what landscape you would like to step into in World of Wisdom. As you step into this week, we encourage you to bring that mindset of seeking first to understand yourself, the person in front of you, the person inside you. See them, be seen. This is a gift, it's an opportunity. It's a gift we're all given to ourselves and to each other. So from this space, Simply explore, learn, share, play, co-create. Bring out what wants to come out from you as a unique, beautiful human being. And as we heal ourselves, as we make commitments to ourselves, small commitments, one tiny commitment at a time that we know we can honor, and through that, increase the trust in ourselves. Through that inner healing, through that inner work, which is the most sacred work from what we can see, you're already changing the world. And with that, we would simply like to invite you to spend a moment with us in silence.
Thank you. Notice how we're now connected as one community, not only online, but energetically connected through our hearts, our minds, and our souls. For this coming week, we're family, exploring the unknown together. I personally want to say thank you for allowing me to be here. It's a beautiful gift to experience this emerging community of beautiful, beautiful human beings. Thank you for making the effort to be here. And thank you, Dragonfly, for making the effort to host us in this ceremony. With love and gratitude, I look forward to seeing you all throughout the week. Let it begin. Thank you all. And I think as we now wrap up the ceremony, this is also an open space. So whenever there's not ceremony in this specific Zoom meeting room, it's an open space. So feel free to hang around if you like. I'm going to go tend to the beautiful community that I see on one screen here. <laughs> and go hang out with them. And uh, nighttime is coming to Sweden. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. If you feel called to be there. Thank you all. Aho. Aho.